down here in downtown Chipley, and the merchants of historic downtown Chipley are actually doing a customer appreciation day. It's a gorgeous day. Somebody put the fix in, and the weather's fine. We're here with Eric. Eric, where are you from? Here in Chipley. How did you find out about what's going on today? I was driving by, and I heard it. You know, uh, they were talking about how to promote this. I said, hey, the best thing to do is just turn on the amplifiers, get some music playing. Uh, are you here with a, a bunch of other people here today? No, I just came up here, and when I got here, I started recognizing people I know. Uh, have you seen stuff like this happening in Chipley before? Very, very seldom. I think that no. the merchants down here are trying to have more of this sort of thing. Do you think that would be a valuable way to drive people to downtown Chipley? Oh, definitely. I mean, there's if you look, there's more and more showing up right now. So what would your thoughts be if you were to, to speak to the city officials? Uh, would you encourage them to, to continue this kind of thing? Oh, I de I'd definitely encourage them to do it. I mean, it's drawing in some crowd. Very good. Thanks so much, Eric. Oh, no, thank you. Thanks for being out here with us today. Heather Shelby, now you're from Bonifay. I am. Now, how did you find out about what's going on here today? My husband actually plays in one of the bands. Okay, and which one is that? Righteous Sin. Okay, now they're the headliner. They are. Okay, and, and that, that seems to be the most well-known band of the bunch. Absolutely. Okay. We do have a problem in our areas, both Bonifay and Chipley, with not having anything really for the children to do. And so, um, or for those, those kids, we shouldn't call them children, but you know, our, our teenagers. Um, so this is something where they can come out, and it's an all-ages show, and just to let them have a little bit of freedom and and to let loose a little bit, so it's a great thing. Well, and you know, everybody does gripe a little bit sometimes about the parking situations, but if you can come out to downtown Chipley, there's a lot of things to do. You can park in one spot and you can walk to everything, so I mean, that is one thing that, that is a good driving factor. I have an 11-year-old who likes this style of music, and um, this is just a great way to get him out, and it's, um, it's kind of a G-rated show, so it's, it's good to get them out and to, to let him experience something like this live. And you say you would probably encourage the city officials to endorse this sort of activity? Yeah, I, I don't see why they shouldn't. I mean, it's, it's, kind of, it's a good idea to offer an, a, different styles of bands, not just the country or the western or the older style music. But, you know, go ahead. I mean, they're going to listen to it anyway. We should embrace it and, and open it up and, and, and offer it. Well, thank you again for being here. No today. problem. Who wants a T-shirt? You don't need a pink shirt, dude. Well, the guys from the band came over and asked me if we could do something outside because they wanted to play to the younger crowd. You know, we want to you know get the kids involved, the younger people involved. So they came down here and asked me to do it, and we put it together. This gives them an opportunity to enjoy some music and a beautiful right. day. Brent, right. tell us the name of your band. We are Righteous Sin. We uh, prevail from around Dothan, Alabama, some as close as Bonifay. We're a hard rock, heavy metal band. Shameless plug here for Righteous Sin. 